that's going to be a better one. Hello, I'm John Shepherd, and in this short video, we're going to take a look at long jump technique. We're going to look specifically at some of the subtle changes that I've been trying to make with some of the jumpers that I coach. We're looking, for example, at variations in arm action for the hitch kick and the transition from a hitch hang into a more of a hitch kick style. And throughout the video, I'll be giving you my reasons why I'm making those changes. I hope that this will help coaches and athletes better understand mid-air actions and their functionality. Okay, let's start with para-athlete Karim. And the changes that I'm trying to make here relate to his takeoff, and in particular, a more balanced takeoff. If you can extend the drive off of the ball without leaning back, then you're going to get a better flight and a more balanced flight. So we've been working on a higher hip position, setting up the jump on the penultimate and swinging the free flight away into the takeoff. It's taken a while. However, Karim is beginning to get what we're after. So there's the takeoff drive that I often refer to and you can see that it pushes his landing further back into the sand. So we're looking at the same jump again. So there's the drive, a balanced position. Then he will pull back the front leg into a basic hang shape and then the legs will extend in front. As you will have seen in previous videos, I'm a big one on breaking down the movements required, for example, of the takeoff. So Karim has been regularly repeating all of these drills over about a year, working on his foot contact, his hip swing, his holding and blocking of that thigh in front of the body. And I believe that it's beginning to transfer now into his jumping. We've also been working a lot on his running and I'll say more about that in another video. First, let's take a look at another training session that Karim did on his own. This was the one after the one that you've just seen, and you can see a transference. So the two sessions, being relatively back-to-back -back within a couple of days, are definitely helping him. And what's beginning to take place now is a much better balance, as I've been indicating. So he's in a superior position in which to land, for example. Now we do need to work on that a little bit more and get him to bring his hands past his hips as he comes into land and that should enable him to get an extra couple of centimetres as he comes into the sand. Let's focus on one specific effort. When Karim takes off he tends to drop his right shoulder and this is something that you're going to see in a still frame in the next same clip. So there's the shoulder dropped, so we need to work on keeping that shoulder up because it creates a little bit of rotation that you can see in the middle of the jump. And there you can see the hands reaching across to the right hand side of the body again on landing. It's important as a coach or an athlete indeed to film your jumps from different angles so you can specifically see what's going on. Front on will tell you a lot about how you take off and the balance throughout the flight phase. We're now going to take a look at a couple of young female jumpers, Madison and Ruby. With Madison, she tends to do a hang technique, but sometimes the takeoff goes up and she drops prematurely. So we've been working on a hitch hang variant. So she takes off pulls the leg back and it should go slightly behind the body. In fact, that one's more of a hitch kick. But what it does is it extends her landing. She goes through the landing. That's it. Okay, let's take a look at Ruby. Now, what I'm trying to do here is convert her into a hitch kick jumper from a basic sail. You'll notice that she's getting the takeoff drive that I always emphasize, but he's potentially holding it a little bit too long. The arms, however, are working in a hang style of action, being counter-rotated. So after takeoff, the arms reverse. So the takeoff drive is held, then the arms, instead of going up and over the shoulders, go below and then over the shoulders and around. 
Now we can live with that arm action for the moment, but ideally I want to change it to this single arm action, which the more experienced jumper in the group, Sarah, uses. I find that that creates more of a longer torso position in flight and creates better balance. So to achieve this, after the takeoff drive, the rear arm is then lifted up over the shoulder and then the other arm will come round. A training tip or a coaching tip with the lifted rear arm is to open the palm so that it faces forwards. That will help with the rotation. Regular channel viewers will have seen Sarah's progress and will have noted that we've been working on the landing as well and trying to get a greater extension and there was an improvement there. And now we're going to take a look at Sam and a change just happened in his last session so I wanted to show you this. We've been really working on his arm action to stop him just lifting his arms up at takeoff. At first glances you may think it's quite effective however it actually shortens his jump distance because it's stopping him getting an effective drive away from the board. So you'll see on this jump when he gets into the takeoff that his free leg drops too soon and albeit his arms are in the right position initially but then instead of lifting the right arm up and over he pushes them up and they don't fully go all the way around as they would independently in a hitch kick style of action. On a couple of jumps he managed to get the arm action more or less correct. This wasn't the best one as I didn't film that one but you can see the arms whirling around overhead so again in slow motion pay particular attention to the way the arms move counter rotationally to the legs and you'll see that this extends his position and movement away from the board and also assists with his landing albeit this is not as I've said the best jump that he made and the best one was about another 10 to 15 centimeters further and the landing was more extended you can see in the freeze frame the positioning of the arms and the dropping of the leg and that long thin shape that we're after and then as I've said that extension into the landing. These two still shots will hopefully show the difference in the arm actions. Hopefully these insights into some of the technical issues with coaching the long jump will help you and your long jump and thanks for watching and good luck with your training and hopefully competitions. And do leave any comments you may have in the section below this video or through my other social media. And do subscribe to the channel.